Scorpios, this is your bonus love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Oh, wow, there's two cards I wanted to flip out. All right, so we have the chariot. We have the six of wands here. Some of you are going to be very successful in whatever direction you're headed, okay? So we're going to have to see what this is about, Scorpios, because you guys know exactly where you're headed. You're moving in that direction. You're not looking back on something. And we have the Six of Wands here. So it's going to be very successful. You're going to have a victory in whatever this is. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And something is going to go the way you planned, the way you want it to. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Okay, so these two wanted to pop out. I don't know why doubles just popped out. Yep, some of you guys are dealing with the Leo. Okay, now you could have had an argument with this person recently. Um, you guys weren't seeing eye to eye about something, but whatever it is, it's going to get worked out. Because we have happiness here, abundance, prosperity, better days for you. So if you're not dealing with the Leo, this is what's to come for you. But some of you, I feel like you are. Spirit, what messages do you have? Wow. Okay. Yeah. The five of cups. Somebody was regretting something here when it comes to you. And I feel like this person is now ready to get their shit together because they either felt like they made a bad decision, a poor choice in something. Maybe you guys were going through something and this person realized that you were the person they wanted to be with. Because with the five of cups here, we have three cups knocked over here, but then we have two cups standing in an upright position right in back of this person. And all they have to do is turn around and look at it. So I feel like maybe this person realized where they want to be. We have the Six of Pentacles. So there's going to be an equal give and take with you and someone. Could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn. And we also have water energy such as yourself, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, there's a decision. Now, with the Two of Wands, there's a decision that needs to be made here. But I feel like it's you that's needing to make this decision. Some of you are trying to figure out whether you're going to allow someone to come back into your life or if you're going to move forward with this person. I feel like you made up your mind about something and then someone came back and tried to change your mind, maybe telling you that they were going to do the right thing and you guys were going to be able to fix any problems or issues that you're going through. And just keep in mind, we are in Mercury retrograde season. Yep, we have the Knight of Cups. Somebody coming back pouring out their heart if they haven't already. Um, keep in mind that we're in Mercury retrograde season until the 22nd, and then we go into the shadow phase of it. So I would suggest if someone is coming back, telling you that they still want to be with you, that they're sorry, you know, wanting your forgiveness, just giving you all types of apologies, telling you that they're going to do the right thing. I feel like you want to make this person prove it. Okay, don't take their word right off the bat. Scorpios and if this is not you feeling this way this could be your person if they're cross watching so just flip and reverse the roles as need be but someone is coming back in to tell you that they still want this this card just jumped right out of my hand <laughs> the justice card okay so some of you could be dealing with the Libra if not you're going to get justice in a situation some of you could have a court situation you're dealing with as well I'm also picking up the energy that for some of you you're dealing with someone who's locked up and they may be getting out and maybe this person wants to come and move with you and you're trying to figure out if this is something that's going to work for you. Okay, I don't know who that's for, but that could be for someone specific. Definitely not everyone's uh, situation, I'm sure. Now we have the Hierophant here. So some of you could be married to this person or you could be dealing with a Taurus. I feel like there were some lessons learned here from someone. Spirit. Okay, yeah. There's communication that's coming in with the Eight of Wands. Some of you, your person could live at a distance. Okay, you could be doing online dating with this person and maybe you wasn't sure where things were headed, but there's going to be some communication that comes in that clears things up for you. Wow, these cards are just flying out of the deck for you guys, um, Scorpio. We have the Emperor, so some of you could be dealing with an Aries or you're taking back control of your life. Maybe um, something wasn't going right for you and you felt like it was out of your control. You tried to control it, but the more you tried to control it, there was issues, problems, and drama. And now, like, you're wa either walking away from the issues and the problems. But I feel like right when you were ready to give up on something, someone is coming back wanting to make it work. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Okay. Yeah. King of Cups and the Star. Someone is really emotional about the situation. Could be another water sign or an Aquarius here. But if you're not dealing with that astrological sign, just know with the King of Cups 
and the star someone is hoping and wishing that you guys are going to work out that you guys are going to be able to get back on track and move forward i feel like someone wants to build with you they want to offer you love this person loves you with this king of cups and they want to show you but I'm picking up the energy that whoever this is, Scorpio, they were playing games. They were taking this connection for granted. I can say by the way your cards are coming out, I don't feel like this person didn't care about you. I just felt like they were so used to not doing the right thing and you accepting it. And then when you decided to put your foot down and no longer accept whatever this was that they were doing or saying, I feel like this person realized like, well, I got to get myself together because if I don't, Scorpio is going to walk away. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? This bonus love and relationship reading. Yeah, you're no longer, see, this is what it is. The three of Wands is in reverse. You're no longer waiting on this person. You're like, I want the Ten of Cups. This is your next card out of the deck. And you're like, if you don't give it to me, I can get it from somewhere else. Ooh, yep. Yeah. And the next card is Judgment. <laughs> like, you call Judgment on something. But because you are in this energy Scorpio they get it and they see that you're not playing you're either going to have this ten of cups with them or with someone else but regardless you're going to have it is what you've been saying okay and now you mean it you're showing it and they know that you're not playing around anymore so you could have been like telling, I don't want to say you were threatening this person with it but you could have been telling this person over and over again like you know if you don't want to be with me I'm going to leave and be with someone else and you just never did it and then all of a sudden, you just got tired and you're like, you know what? I'm not putting up with this anymore. And so you made a move. And then when you made your move, it may have caused a tower moment. Okay? Because we have the tower here. And I feel like once it caused this tower moment for this person or for you guys' situation in general, you know, you were like, let the chips fall where they may. I don't care about this tower moment coming in. But this person, I feel like somebody didn't see something coming here. Yeah. We have the Ace of Cups. And the seven of wands so i feel like so, for some of you it's like you're guarded when it comes to this person but now they want to offer you love so now i feel like the roles have flipped in reverse for you and someone like you're like okay you know if you offer me this love fine well if not i'm gonna get it regardless and now this person's like here i'm offering you this cup take it <laughs> and like i get it now i see what you're, you're what you're saying because of this tower so some of you could be dealing with another scorpio Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for this bonus reading for Scorpio? Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm going to take them all. Four of them fell out, so we'll take them. You have the King of Pentacles. You have the Empress, the Magician, and the Nine of Wands. So we have Taurus energy and Gemini energy here. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus or a Gemini or another Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, right? Regardless of the energy, you're very guarded. You had the Seven of Wands so far and the Nine of Wands. So you're not trusting anything. Also, you're sitting in Empress status. And I feel like this person knows it. They see it. They feel like, you know, they're going to take a loss. Not you. Okay. Um, you could be working on a business, building an empire, and you're sitting pretty and they see you and I feel like they're like no I can't walk away from this male or female energy also with the empress some of you could be pregnant by this person and maybe you were crying and you were stressed out and you were like well I don't know if they want this and you know I'm going to be in this alone and then you're like you know what I'm good like what am I what am I doing what am I thinking here like I'm going to be good with or without this person and I feel like because of your attitude change then this person decided to get their shit together. That's what I'm seeing here. So somebody's getting something together or wanting to get something together. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Yep, Ten of Swords. This person was acting like they didn't care. I feel like somebody betrayed you and stabbed you in the back at some point. They may have even walked away. There could have been an ending to this situation. And you wanted this person back for so long. And maybe you tried and they were giving you their ass to kiss. And then you just said, you know what? I'm not going to continue to chase this person. I'm not going to call them, text them, or anything. And I feel like when you put yourself in that energy, it started to work out in your favor. Spirit, what messages do you have? Oh, okay, that one is to flip over. I don't know. Wow. Okay, so we have the moon here in temperance. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Sagittarius. If not, 
This person had a lot of secrets. They were hiding things from you at some point, but now they want to bring in a balance. Now they want to balance things out. I feel like your attitude change, and now that they see that you're not going to chase them, nor are you going to put up with their foolishness. I'm also, for some reason, I feel like this person had you in a third party situation and you woke up and was like, you know what, I'm not doing it anymore. Like, I don't need you, you know, and if you're going to continue to have me in a third party situation, then I'm walking away from you. So I feel like you decided to walk away from someone or clip something or cut it off or decide not to talk to this person. Or you just, you know, started showing them that you didn't care anymore. Even if you did care about this person and i feel like some of you still do you're like it's not worth my time and effort so even if they still hold the place in your heart you're like i'm not playing playing around with them anymore so i feel like you stopped playing with someone and now they're realizing that you're serious that's what i'm seeing here in this reading um but now they want to come in and bring you something balanced Okay, with this temperance card. So the universe is saying the temperance card is all about patience. So you may need to have patience and temper, um, temperance with this person while they're trying to change for you. Because I feel like someone is going to tell you that they're changing. But remember, you know, we're in re retrograde season. So you can't take everything for what someone says. You have to make them, you know, prove it. We have the king of wands here. So some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person, you know what? I'm picking up the energy that if you're dealing with a fire sign, this person has a lot of friends or uh, acquaintances. And it's like you've been trying to get them to, I guess, commit to you and give you something stable, solid, and an emotional bond. And you may find it hard to do so with this king of wands. You may feel like this person's always on the go. They make rash decisions. It's like they may argue with you a lot and say certain things and then come back later and apologize and say they don't mean it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Oh, we have the death card. Change and transformation. You pulled your own card, Scorpio. Okay, so someone's bringing in... Your change and your transformation is causing someone else to change. That's what I see here in this reading. And that's all you had to do, right? But you weren't thinking along those lines before. You were trying to get this person to change. And once you realize that you can't ever make someone change, people are going to be who they are. But what normally gets a person to change is when you change up your status. For example, someone is playing games with you. You're calling them and you're like, when can we go out? When, you know, when can I see you? You know, when are you going to come see me? Whatever the situation is, um, you know, just trying to get their attention and you keep trying and trying and they're giving you excuses. And then after a while, you'd be like, you know what? I don't even want to go out with you anymore. I don't even care if you come see me anymore. And as a matter of fact, I'm not going to text you and I'm not going to call your ass. And so this person thinks you're playing and then they don't receive a call or a text from you and you are no longer like chasing after them calling them and doing nothing this person comes in and they're like wait you know i don't have their attention anymore how can i get their attention back i'm gonna have to go and i'm gonna have to give them some effort and some energy and i feel like that's what someone is doing this month they're going to give you energy and effort because you're no longer putting it in you're no longer giving it to them and i feel like you were carrying some of you were carrying the weight of this relationship or this marriage it could be a marriage for some of you because the hierophant did show up in the upright you were carrying the weight of the connection and they weren't doing much of anything and now there's going to be change and transformation okay so those are the messages that i have for your bonus love and relationship reading um scorpio i just want to say thank you for coming to my channel like comment subscribe let me know what you guys are going through out there you can follow me on facebook twitter or instagram at my cards never lie to row i'm also on tiktok at the empress 522 and i will see you guys next time bye